gosh, there we go. <laughs> I, the, the problem was I didn't start recording to begin with. <laughs> yeah, my my uh, uh, computer went blank and and uh, I, I was like, why uh, is my computer blank when when I was recording it? it and uh, I realized why I was not actually um, recording at all. I had to press record, and it and it does that. Countdown three, two, one, and then record. So, are you going live on YouTube or are you just? Oh, you're said you're recording. I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, I do have that option too, but 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 I I, I just want to do like a a video, so. So now that now that I'm uh, recording, if if there's any reason why you shouldn't uh, uh, talk about anything uh, sensitive, just so you know, I'm reminding you that that this is a a, a recording that's going live right now, but. Yeah. This is just a general reading for tonight. Um just basically just just like a, a general reading. So um I'm gonna trace the um uh, uh what do you call it? like like the uh, five pointed star, you know, just like like that that direction. Uh, and, and, uh, it's it's being recorded on on video as as I did the tracing right. motion, but um, people should have a, a better idea of what I mean by that. Let's see. Already, I'm feeling the vibe in my third eye. So it's just basically saying that there's a lot of um, work and uh, heavy lifting needing uh, to be uh, had. It's it's not just like uh, work-wise. I, I think just like uh, generally speaking as well. But I, I kind of feel like whatever the heavy lifting thing is, I kind of feel like that... Uh, what uh conscious is uh talking about on stereo is uh she's been uh busy and, and i'm not saying that she's doing like um uh literal like uh physical uh heavy duty uh, heavy lifting but she's doing the heavy lifting of actually kind of like um making sure she gets to places on time and she's been like busy in that regard and i i've been pretty busy at at work as as well but i kind of feel like this is the time where people are going to feel like they're becoming a little more busy and um uh, i also kind of feel like that uh the page of cups is basically saying here I'll, I'll show those two cards on on video. Um, these two cards that I started out with, and 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 the page of cups is just basically saying um, that there is going to be a time where we're going to feel like we're overwhelmed, but we need to uh, have the time to. I uh, kind of say like, what can I do to uh, meet in my middle ground again? And um, basically, what 
what this means is uh, we we need to find a a place to 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 meet our middle ground and uh, also it's it's also saying that uh, we need to be just a little bit more grounded in our uh, reality. I mean, there's nothing wrong being in our uh spiritual selves it's just like uh, we need to uh meet the middle ground where we're focused on the material uh as well being focused on our um um the spiritual uh, journey as well and uh basically this one uh the high priestess um is kind of like uh the ancestral card of the um ancient uh egyptian uh isis uh goddess isis of uh not only is she like a nurturing mother but i i also kind of feel like that this is also like a um uh, a time where things uh need to be paid attention to especially to intuition she's she's a goddess of uh, uh intuition and and knowing when the time is right and, and stuff like that i mean things that feel right without uh you having the right words to explain stuff like that because um there are no words to break it down to plain english why you feel a certain thing you just know it feels right so that's what this card is all about and uh, it's it's just one of those things that we need to pay attention to our intuition especially if uh, mercury's in retrograde so um also king of wands is also basically saying um We're kind of uh, looking at things out of left field just by a little bit. And I kind of feel like that this uh, card is also saying that we, we need to uh, slow down on, on the focus of uh, material things. Because uh, while we think it's important right, right now, we just need to slow down that not every uh, material things are as important that, that we like to think it is be, because uh <laughs> um while it's it's nice to uh have some of those um technology and stuff like that that has all the bells and whistles whether it be a new phone computer or whatever it is um we just need to slow down a little bit and and uh take care of our needs first before um spending money on the the want care category and uh also the ace of swords is also basically saying that the uh let me see this is more like um there is going to be more action to be taking place right now now i don't know what that means for like the delivery system uh that may still have its kink of its own but I kind of think um, the um, businesses are, are starting to take more action to kind of like uh, say like we're, we're going to be able to do more uh, than just let things uh, gradually uh, go slowly by as um, the person uh, who's either on order or it's either coming in for for like a tour and stuff like that is uh waiting for it for like maybe three to four days to a week and uh same thing with the delivery system they they might uh do things as much as in maybe uh two weeks to not even uh, a week but maybe up to five days that this much i think they're gradually uh getting their act together in some ways and I also feel like that the um, two of, uh, no, five of cups is uh, basically uh, saying that um, the uh, person kind of like 
um, going through uh, depression because uh, spilt wine is knocked over and not seeing the uh, uh, two cups are full be behind him. It's it's uh, basically uh, don't dwell uh, so much on the uh, pessimistic side of things, but uh, just be grateful for what you have, kind of thing. And um, as with the law of attraction, I I've said this last night. Uh, uh, I mean. There is a time and a place where uh, a little bit of uh, negative uh, emotions are okay, but it's if it's the only thing that you're obsessing over over and over again, uh, it becomes part of the law of attraction kind of thing because uh, it says law, um, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, attracts like. Even though we're not trying to attract negative things, but it sort of becomes our mantra to kind of remember the uh, good that uh, we still may have in, in life and say, like, good things will, will happen and have an unwavering faith about that, too, because not all is lost <clears throat> because good things will happen. And uh, that's all I have for this uh, reading, this general reading right now. So this is the last card that I've read. This is second to last. And then King of, of Wands. Um, okay, so I'm going to stop recording here.